hi everyone so welcome to today's video today's video is going to be a haul it's going to be a little bit of a big haul this was like my own money plus some money that i got for christmas so it's like a, what i got for christmas but i got money that i bought these with but it's technically still like what i got for christmas and then what i bought myself so sneak peek yeah but i just wanted to give you something to look at while i'm introducing the video so i'll start with something small so i got this a glossy accent um from the glossy accents from ranger and i just got this because i wanted to try it because i know that kathy from spicy cat colors puts it on the eyes of her girls and um, when she does like hannah lynn and stuff so i just thought that i'd try it out so next i got some glitter markers i did want the tuli art ones that i saw on art journey uk on lily's channel but they were unfortunately sold out so i searched up like glitter paint markers or whatever and i seen these ones so i just thought i'd give them a go they're by the brand two hands i can't remember the prices of things so i will link everything down below if i can remember the range then i'll let you know but i think they were around 10 pounds or something like that so i haven't fully tested them out i've done slight swatching but um i don't know i might do a video like swatching them out we could do that so yeah i got those it has a nice range of colors if i bring it up but it doesn't the like barrel things don't seem very full so i'm not sure how long they would last but i got those i'm just gonna get the big thing out of the way as well oh nelly dropped it so i did get some alcohol markers this is the ohuhu 120 set and i think this was around 55 pound so these are just they're not the brush tip they're just like the regular chisel and like fine point but you get like so many colors i did try and swatch them all out but i had to take many breaks because i was really ill <laughs> so the swatches are quite messy but it doesn't really matter they are lovely lovely colors and i love the fact that it comes with neons and I, I think that Carla Magana's books are going to just get some loving from these markers as well. So I do have like Ohuhu brush markers and I know that I like them. And I have tried these in the past and I like them as well. But I gave them away for some reason because I like the brush tip more than the, the um, chisel tip. But I just thought these are cheaper for a larger amount of colours than the brush ones. And I can't really afford the brush ones right now because I really want the like massive one. Um, is it a 216 set? But it's like 150 quid and I can't justify paying that. Okay. So I just got these instead. But beautiful colours and the chisel tip works fine. Um, I can manage on the chisel tip. I like the chisel tip but I have larger areas as well. So it it just works out and I'm really happy with it. I thought it was going to be like, like when you look at the pictures on Amazon. They look so massive but... It's a really, really nice size and I love the fact, I don't know why I zipped it up, I love the fact that it comes like with different compartments and they like stand up properly because then I can display them like this on my desk when I'm colouring at my desk on top of like little drawers and things. So yeah, I'm very happy with those. So I should have started with the Ohuhu marker so I could zoom you in, so, but it doesn't really matter. I've done it now. Carrying on with markers and alcohol markers, I got some Windsor and Newton Pro markers. I've wanted to try these for a while and I've seen um, some on Andrea's Attic's channel. So I just decided to pick myself up a few of the six packs because they were around £10 each. But as you can see, this one is neon, but it doesn't have the, um, it doesn't have like the name of the packet, whatever, the, the colour zones or whatever. I can't think today. Not that I ever can. The tones. The colour of the tones. Not zones. I was close. These neon ones. I didn't look properly. So these are the neon. The Promarker neons. But I didn't look properly online. I just thought. Because we're all in like a. The same listing. So I just went through and I picked the colours. And I was like. Oh well I'll have those. But these ones are actually water based. So these are fluorescent markers and they're beautiful and I was so excited to get them because I thought they were alcohol markers but they are water based unfortunately and water based aren't my favourite. I could still use them in my double sided books and 
whatever or I can maybe use them in my journal as well so it's not like a total waste and I will use them but I was really disappointed that there weren't alcohol markers because I was wondering because yeah if you can see yeah you can it's got like a a little tip I don't know if that's called a bullet tip or whatever and then it's got like a larger bullet tip of the same variety so I was thinking I wonder why that's different and then I looked on the back and it says water based so that is why but it just has the small tip and then the big tip Ooh, freaking hard to get off but I will still use them and I might actually use them in my journal because like my bullet journal for my colouring and stuff to decorate and then I use them in my Lulu mail books and that. So I still love the colours, you know me and neons. So yeah, you got like a neon green, blue, that's like a red, a pink, and then you got a darker green and like an orange. No, actually that's a yellow, but it looks green on there. So these ones are actually alcohol based. So I got the pastel set, the or the pastel tones, the mid tones, the rich tones, skyscape, skyscape. I keep wanting to say why is that hard to say? Sky I keep what oh my god. I keep wanting to say skyscrape. But it's skyscape tones. I don't know. I just feel like I've got a lisp when I say that. And then I got vibrant tones as well, which are quite bright. So I'm not really too bothered. I've kind of got like water-based neons and then sort of these ones and the alcohol-based. But it would have been really nice if them neons were, if them neons were like actual uh, alcohol-based. So I just opened one packet and then. I'll show you what they look like because there's no point opening all of them but yeah it's just what they look like again you've got that tip and then the alcohol markers come with the chisel tip so that's a sign to say which is water based and which is alcohol based but I did not look that closely so I did actually order all these when I had um, a migraine and I was very ill so I didn't really notice, but it doesn't really matter. I probably wouldn't have noticed anyway. And then again, the skyscraper tones, but I should actually show you the colours that come with it. So you've got like a yellow, orange, red, pink, blue and green. So they are still quite bright colours. Obviously, they're called the bright tones or vibrant tones. So these are kind of like neonish. <laughs> and then these are really nice, like pale blues and stuff. Oh, that's green as well. I don't know, I've actually swatched them, I should tell you. Like, this hole's a disaster. I was going to get my swatch book out to show you. So, yeah. <laughs> These are the neon tones. These are the vibrant tones and the pastel set. It looks very nice. Then you've got the rich tones. If I actually show you. Can you see? Are you focused? Then you've got the mid tones. And then the skyscape. I feel like I've got a lisp when I say that skyscape tones, which are really like nice and pale. So, them are kind of like pastel y blues as well. And I just, I can't wait to like dive into all these colours. I've been keeping them in my packaging um, since I got them, so I could do the whole. And now I can organise them into this like little drawer set that I got. Um, so, I'm excited and then I can start using them properly without having them all in these packages because i don't want to like keep taking them out and stuff so yeah so next i'm going to go on to pencil sets that i got so i did buy this castle art botanical um collection i wanted to try this particular set for a while and then me nana and granda gave us me christmas money so i did get these before christmas but it was still like a Christmas present. But these were on lightning deal for 9 99 And I've wanted to try this set for a while. I don't know why I'm opening it because there's nothing in it. But that's where the, that's where the like pencil would have been. And I'll show you like the colours. And I really, really like the colours. Um, and I really like the colours that came in it. So I decided to give it a go for like a tenner. That was really good. And I'll show you where I store them. 
and I have actually used um this set so that's why they are different sizes I used them in a Hannah Corzon page which I'll show in the completed pages for the month but I have just put them in this pencil case with me prisma colors because I had room I do like them they are nice um but I don't think I like them as much as me RTs are in me prismas then I got the Black Widow Dragon set, which I haven't used yet, but I really need to. Again, there's nothing in them. I've already put it in the pencil case with me of our Black Widows. I hate the packaging. It's got a spider on. I don't like it. But the but this was a Christmas present as well off my sister, but I got them like about two weeks or something before Christmas, two or three weeks before Christmas, but I haven't used them yet. So I'll just show you where I've put them. I rearranged like all of me Prisma colours, not Prisma. I rearranged all of me what they call Black Widows into this set. So I had them all like together. You can't even see properly. But I had them all together in like colour set or colour order. And then I decided to like just do something different and put them in sets in instead. So um just so I'm not overwhelmed with like the colour choice because I've got like a hundred and something of these pencils and it's just like oh so I'd rather like put them into small, smaller sets because I get overwhelmed with like when I've got too much colour even though I buy like tons of colours, like tons of um, alcohol markers, I've got loads but it's getting to the point where I'm like I don't know what I want to use. I just kind of pick a book, pick a set of pens or pencils, whatever and they're all in the same case so if I want to dip into a different set then I can. But these are the dragon set. So I'll try to get it all in but it's quite big um, and I don't know if I've made it wonky. But this is the dragon set right here. And they come with some gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. I'll get the swatches out for you. So these are the swatches. Some absolutely gorgeous colours. Definitely me colours. Down here. Yeah, the especially these ones definitely caught me attention because I love those type of colours so yeah I got those and I like Black Widow pencils especially the ones with like the newer ones with this um sort of tip where you can see the colour on and especially the Monarchs ones are beautiful and I do think the Monarchs are better than the other ones so I hope that these are still like the same formula as the Monarch ones because they will be amazing so next i got some paint markers because i had the black and white posca marker and i really really like them so i wanted to get some colors of posca markers so i went a little bit a little bit not so there is more colors that i want so i hope that you're not lopsided and if you can say like black stuff yeah it's me i'm um, dressing gown so i bought this set this is the eight millimeters set and it's oh it's because i was going to show you the tip wasn't that oh my god i'm all over the place so these are like massive ones and i got these obviously for backgrounds and stuff so if i wanted to do like a larger area and this is the tip it's just like a massive chisel tip i can't tell if he's that in frame because like the phone is quite high up but you can definitely see that and it comes with lovely colours. I think like a standard set of colours. So you got like black, green, red, purple, blue, pink, yellow and white. So, so excited to use them. So then I got these three sets of markers. And there is more that I want. There's other colours. But I had to court here myself because I had n no more money left basically. Um, So I'll buy them in upcoming months. So I got these sets. This is the... Basically, when you go on Amazon, it's got like certain tones, but then when you get the packaging, it doesn't tell you the tones, like which ones it is. I'm not entirely sure which tones it is. And these were around £25 each, something like that, or maybe a little bit cheaper. Or I don't remember, but I will link everything down below so you can tell. This was like the red tones or something like that. So yeah, this was like the red tones and... These colours are just a bit of me. I love them. I love these colours. Like, especially, like, I could do, like, a whole picture. And it was... Also, I got these because you could, like, do them in double-sided books. Or you could do them. And I don't know why I keep saying you could do them. My family's being really loud, but... You can use these in, like, double-sided books and stuff. So I thought that would be really amazing. I just wanted loads of colours. Because I've seen people use paint markers in the 
they look really good to use so i'll just show you the colors i'm not going to swatch them because there's not really any point i think that the the lids are usually quite on point to what the color is there's like there's no point in swatching them all out i might eventually but you never know i've got the red tones and then i can't remember what these tones are called but it's basically like i think this was the midnight tones or something like that and you get like a black and a white in here and i was running out of my black and white so i'm glad that i've got them in this set so this comes with more pinks some another purple and then some like darker colors if i wanted to do like an enchanted forest and stuff like that so those are them colors and these so these ones are the 3m tip whatever that means and then I think this is like the sunset tones or something. And these are the 5M tip. And look how gorgeous these colours are. I had to have them. Had to have them. Like even though orange isn't my favourite. Like definitely like in this colour scheme. Gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to keep them in the colour tone families. I'm going to put them all in like a drawer that I got. Like I got this little drawer unit right from Amazon. And it looked way bigger on the picture and it was £17 for like these plastic drawers and I got really ripped off. But like I can't be bothered to do anything about it. <laughs> so I don't like sending things back and exchanging. So I'm just going to like allow myself to be ripped off this time and just be more cautious in the future. But I was not happy when it came. <laughs> but you live and you learn. So these are those colours and these are just like a regular tip. I know the large ones are a chisel tip but... These are just like the regular round tip and I need to prime them. But I'll just prime them as I use them. But like this, these three colours together. Oh, they just look so pretty. So yeah, I'm so glad that I got some more paint markers because I really wanted to use them in my books. So speaking of paint markers as well, I got this Deco Colour Premium um, Gold paint marker. I've seen this on Carla's channel. I I was just looking for like a, a metallic gold sort of paint marker because I really like gold. So I wanted to like add this as accents and stuff on pictures. And I saw this one. I know Carla had used it. So it's the Uchida, Uchida Deco, Deco Color. I don't know. So yeah, I got this one as well. I haven't opened it. I haven't used it. But this one has a chisel tip as well. So I forgot to press record so I'm going to have to film this little bit again and I was wondering why it was going darker because I hadn't pressed play again so never mind but I did make a order on cold pens because I was running out of some of the pens that I need like my favourites so while well, these these aren't my favourites but like the Secura Jelly Rolls in general and the Pentel Dual Hybrids are my favourite gel pens anyway like of time of all time i don't know but these are the colors i was running out with, uh, running out of so i bought two of the metallic golds from the jelly roll range i don't know if it's focusing why aren't you focusing there so i bought two of the metallic golds because i have completely run out of this or ran out of it and um, i'm very very close to running out of this one i know it looks more orange on camera but it's actually fluorescent vermilion carla magana's favorite so I did use a lot of it in a picture that I used um, that I like, copied from Carla's channel so I was running out of it so I needed another one. And then I am running out of the fluorescent orange so I picked up a, another one of those. I'm not actually running out of the, the Jelly Roll Glaze Black yet but I did pick up a backup because I find like oh I'm scared to use this because I need it like I don't want to use it all so if I if I buy a backup to my favourite pens, then I'm not so scared to use them. I'm not really scared, but I'm just like, I don't want to be without it. So I needed to pick up some backups. I picked up three of these a couple of months ago and I've ran through them. Um, so it's just the Pentel Dual Hybrid Gold, the best gold I have found. It's amazing. Amazing. And then I was running low on the Secura Jelly Roll Souffle, the pink one. And then I needed more, like I needed another one of the Glaze Orange because I'm running low on this one as well. So those are the pens that I needed. So there's only a few more supplies to show you. 
so I have been forgetting to tell you like if there were Christmas present or not but most of it was just bought with money for Christmas so there weren't actual Christmas presents and I put most of the money together that I got and then just did a big order because it was easier <clears throat> so I don't they're not like from individually from anybody just in case you're wondering but I got these um Artie's at water brushes so this is what the set comes like so you best believe there's some water colours coming up in a second so I just got the there is a red pack as well but I don't know the difference to be honest but I really like this packaging but you don't really need to see the box I just want to show you anyway so you get like a larger one I haven't used these brushes that much. I've only dabbled into meat watercolour. Um, I used this one yesterday. To get like that tip. Me family are like downstairs swearing and that. But you can't shut them up. I've tried. I've tried for their entire life. And they won't shut up. So you get like that brush. The only thing is with like these brushes. like They should make the lid larger. Because then I always like get the hairs out of the lid. And then you just get like some smaller ones. I'm just trying to like show you the tips <laughs> individually. I don't know if you really care but I've started now. And then obviously I've used this one. The little one, the small one. So I did get them out of the money that I got from me Nan and Granda as well as the Castellar pencils and this watercolour set. This is the um, Pretty Excellent. Um, it goes by like two things. It's got like Pretty Excellent on the box but then in, in the actual thing it says Mei Liang. Mei Liang, I don't know. So anyway, this is the box that it comes in. But I know it comes under the pretty excellent name as well. And I saw these on a few people's channel. I saw it, well, I saw it on Lily's channel, Art Journey UK, she hauled this. And then I saw it on Brooke Lawrence's Instagram. So I was really interested to get into watercolour and just see what the whole vibe's all about. So this is what the set looks like um, that, you, that comes. It's got like this brush, so you do get a water brush with it. And you've got like a little leaflet thing. And you get this card to swatch, which I really liked. And I messed up on the swatches. And I swatched them here when I was supposed to swatch them there. So what I've had to do is like swatch these colours along this card. But it's alright. It doesn't really matter. They're all swatched. And I really like them. So this is what it looks like. I think this was around £20. If I have forgotten to tell you the prices, I'm sorry. But if I remember, I'll tell you. So these were around £20 as well, which is pretty good. They look really good for um, watercolours. So they do look like pretty dark and like unappealing <laughs> in the um, in the pans. But like when you swatch them, they look much better and more vibrant and stuff like that. So when I was looking online and I saw them in the pans, I was like, oh, they look kind of ugly. When you have them on the actual swatch card, the quite pretty so i got disturbed by my family a little bit but next i got this um 24 metallic watercolor paint box and this box is nice it comes like i'm gonna keep this box to put some stuff in it's a good quality like it's a magnetic closure and then it comes in like this snazzy bag you know this velvet bag which you could also keep for storage and then this is this is a brand that it comes um that is called Rattel paints retail whatever that says um it says thanks for supporting our small business your orders and reviews mean more than you can imagine jenny so that's good that like it's a small brand and good to su support smaller brands so it does come with a paintbrush and a on un pen on like an unsharpened pencil i should say as well and then it does come with these two small water brushes which is pretty good pretty handy so this is like a it feels like is it like so possibly velvet or something i don't know obviously not like expensive velvet but this is just what it looks like 
so it does look different to the other the other set so it looks like this my water um like my paints watercolor paints are slightly i don't know if this is what they look like I don't know if this is what they're supposed to look like, but one has a hole in and like they're, they're cracked and stuff, but they still work. So this is the colours and they're absolutely stunning. And they do come with two um card things to swatch the watercolours. They come with a black one and a white one. So that is the swatches on the black card. Like, if I just show you towards the light. Oh, yeah. So pretty. Not the best at swatching because I'm not very good at watercolour. <laughs> but you just need to see the colours. Like, oh, look at those. Metallic gloriousness. And then on the white card, you can actually see more of the colour. So those are the swatches and I really like it when things come with like that individual swatch sort of things because then you don't have to like get your swatch book out and all that. So that's all of the supplies that I got and I'm really happy with them and I can't wait to play with them and have some some creative colouring time. So next is the books that I got. So I'm just going to show you these two first. Um... These books were kindly gifted to me for Christmas by Emma, Emma Bridges. She is a lovely, lovely, lovely friend that I have made in this community and she's always so kind and so generous and so supportive and I just want to say thank you very much Emma because your friendship means a lot to me because I'm so glad that I met you and so many other people and she always like messages us and says how I am and stuff and I've just met so many like lovely people on here um, and people that I actually have a connection with and that I want to pursue a friendship with, if that doesn't sound cheesy. I always think I sound so cheesy when I say stuff like that. But uh, these were on my wish list as well. So, so this is Deborah Muller Artsy Girls. Then I have Hannah Lynn Whimsy Girls Around the World. So these ones I bought it myself. So I have Lulu Mayo, A Million Magical Creatures. Then I have, I'll show you this one first, then I just got this yesterday, it's Characters Through Worlds and Times by Christine Karen. I need to start colouring in my Christine Karen books more often because I've 
kind of not coloured as much in them as I would of usually because I've been like obsessed with Carla Magona but I absolutely love Carla um I mean Christine Karen as well like Christine Karen Carla Magona and Hannah Lynn are probably my favourites but this book I've got a few buddy colours set up in this book well we've only picked one page but I'm, I've got like another person that wants to do buddy colour in this as well and this is one of the pages that well, this is the page that me and Deb Deb Eilbeck have picked two colour so I'm looking forward to it but I need to do some work on them gems and probably do like a metallic gel pen and stuff And then the last one is my favourite book. I'm just going to say it now. I've this. I just can't, I do. I don't want to put this book away. I don't want to put it down. I just want to colour, colour, colour in this book. It is beautiful, and I love it so much. This is Carla Magana colouring. So this is Carla Magana Spooklets sketchbook, and I got this one quite a few weeks before Christmas. So I have coloured quite a bit in it So no actually I know that I was going to almost forget this. I am waiting on Maria Trolley's mandolin. I think that's what it's called. So I'll put a picture of the book here and I am going to get that. It's on its way but I didn't want to wait for that. Um, I wanted to film the whole now so I can get my stuff put away. And the majority of the things come and I'm just like book depository takes ages. So yeah I'm going to just pop a picture in here and I will let you know when it comes and maybe we'll colour a picture in it on camera or something because that, that um, book looks so pretty as well so now that's everything so um, yeah I hope that you liked everything that I got if you've got any of these um this stuff then let us know in the comment section if you want to do a buddy colour with us in any of these um new books then let me know and just send us a message on instagram or something that's basically it i got a lot of stuff and i've got a lot of stuff to play with now and i'm going i'm just excited to colour and everything will be linked below i only include the uk links they're not affiliated or anything i just do it for people's convenience and hopefully people pick on the um click on them because it actually takes a while to like <laughs> link everything but hopefully they'll be there so yeah i'm just going to say thank you so so much for watching and supporting the channel and there will be more videos coming up i've got ideas so i've got ideas for videos so there will be more videos coming up i've got like a little bit of a fire going and i want to film some videos for the channel i want to really concentrate my time on this and just put me focus onto this and try and help me mental health and stuff in the process so yeah that's basically I, I said that i wasn't going to talk more but i still continue to talk i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up if you're like me and you're not subscribed please consider subscribing it would mean a lot and then if you want to know when i upload just turn on the notifications it's up to you everything's up to you um yeah that's it right <laughs> so bye Stirring up the sky oh.